Well, good afternoon, folks. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome back to my YouTube channel down here in Southeast Louisiana. Look, folks, I am out here in the same area that we were uh, a week ago. Well, it's been about eight days. Um, a little bit overdue, but we've had rain constantly. I wanted to be out here on the seventh day, but uh, just so I know about how long bees are in the boxes if they are and it's just been raining. I quit counting at about 7.8 inches of rain on my electronic uh, rain gauge because I just couldn't remember all the different days and how much it was, but it's been a week and we were over 8 inches now because it rained last night, yesterday evening, all morning. Bees are on the boxes. Back down here in the woods where we were again, like I said, went up the hill to that one box that was in the tree the deep in the super and it was on the ground I had a feeling it might fall uh, that's because that particular board has a bad fastening system I should have known better but um, the, the but I didn't expect it to let loose that quick when a colony of bees moved in you know if it was out here for two weeks I thought yeah but obviously not uh, but we've got so much blooming right now all oh, the privet bushes come out and it is it is blowing up right now but I don't know where they're getting all that nectar outside of what they brought with them because, like I said, it's only been a few separate days here and there where they've had a chance to forage. But they filled it up. When I walked up, I saw the board collapsed. I went down. I, I didn't have a chance to uh, go back and grab the camera because I had to walk to where I was going because it's so wet. I can't get close to anything or I'll sink the truck and I'm out here by myself. Uh, so I walked up and sure enough, it's on its side kind of broke apart and I'm like well there's not a bee in it nothing around it or anything so I flip it up and sure enough it is slammed full of bees so I went back walked back got my suit plugged all the holes and put it back together uh, and it's in the back of the truck right now uh, I wish I would have had my camera but I just I needed to get it put back together quickly so here it is it's it's in the back of the truck so it's locked down uh, we got a I, there there were no bees flying so it's good to go as far as the bees being in here and that thing is heavy I had to carry it out uh, it's heavy yeah, it's no joke so gonna get that back to the house put it on stand and uh, hopefully we're supposed to get some good weather for the next few days and I'll be able to break it open and see how it is inside what I'm concerned about with that one and see so the weather's so bad I can't I wanted to work bees today when the rain quit but it's just so off and on it's just not a good day I need to get them back and get them settled, but what I'm concerned about with them is it's not full of frames. When it fell, where'd the frames go? They all probably collapsed and fell on the side, depending on which side it fell on. It fell from six foot up. Uh, there's no telling which way they started building. I've had a hive that got flipped and flooded out, and the bees went to the top. It was sitting sideways, and they began to build the comb with the horizon. So. I'm sure that's what we got there, but uh, who knows. Um, it, it was just irresponsible on my part. Uh, I, I, I kind of looked at that, when we looked at this thing last time and I'd seen it sag some, I didn't have another board to change it out. I really should have come down here and changed it out, and, and I didn't. Um, that one, just the way I have it with the type of screws, I have it fastened to the bottom. Sure enough, uh, one on top and one on the other underside gave away, but what you gonna do now? I'm 25 miles north. It's kind of tough to get back down here really quick. And I was just hoping I'd catch them before they built up too much, but obviously they built up quite a bit. So that's the situation, but I'll remedy that. Right now, it's flooded. I'm telling you, this pond is probably out of its banks. Got the old rubber boots on this time. And we're going to go see if there's bees. If there are bees, I'm taking it. Uh, as long as there's not a ton coming and going, and I don't think there will be. We're just getting through with the rain. It is a swamp down here. But, again, got the old rubber boots on today. Let's go take a look at this box. Now, what I'm going to say about that box is it was heavy. So, the other swarm in the deep and medium was pretty big. So, those were just over 40 liters. This one is 40 liters. So, so far... Those boxes are proven to catch some pretty decent sized swarms compared to the last couple years when I've been using just deeps. Uh, so there might be something to that dirt rooster if he's watching. He stops by every now and again. Now we gotta want to see if there's bees in it because it could have been the same colony scoping out both boxes because we're only a quarter mile apart.
when I talk about privet, this is the Chinese privet we have down here. Problem is the bees aren't out getting it because the weather's been so bad, but it's uh, it's coming. But it's supposed to be nice the next few days, so they'll load up. Gonna be adding some more supers. This hit is blowing up everywhere. And these are getting ready to come out in the next 24 hours. Let's see what's in this thing. I'll cut through here. Uh, see if we've got bees in here. Shouldn't be many. Oh yeah. Well, they're coming and going. Oh yeah, that's a colony moved in. There we go. So they're hunkered down for the most part. I'm sure, there's bees coming and going here and there, but it's been raining, so I'm gonna take them down now. I'm not gonna wait to come out here in the dark. We're not losing much. So let me get my veil on because they're probably not happy right now with the weather and I'm gonna get them done and, and to the house. Yep, gotta get them to the house. Uh, I got a few hogs out there. Just seen a hog walk by. Look like a sow, small sow, so. I'm gonna get them out quick because uh, I don't want to start flying. The weather is improving and they're starting to gather out there. So I know a few have left. I see them coming back. So I, I use steel wool. Oh my gosh, this thing is heavy. Uh, they say 40 liters is what, and I gotta carry this all the way up the hill to the truck. Oh. Well, that's a heavy colony. What I'm noticing is they're all at the, they're all sitting at this little entrances on the back and on the side and in the front. They're just kind of hanging out, looking I like they're they're staying in because of the weather. So it's kind of why I went ahead and took them today. I'm gonna get them on out of here. All right, let's go up the hill. Well, I'd have to say that went flawless. For the most part, the one on the side, laying on the side, was not a good thing. Um, I'm irritated with myself on that one. Uh, I checked those, which you didn't see on the video, but I checked those those fasteners to make sure they were still in and yanked on the on the on the wire, the cables, and um, they were definitely fastened on. But now I'm going to use a hook system next time. That was, uh, or even a cradle system, but. That was kind of disappointing, so I don't know what I've got in there. And the thing was, the grass was yellow underneath, so that's at least four days on there, on the side. Uh, I mean, don't tell them what they built. And, you know, of course, you hope that the queen didn't get hurt. So, they're pretty durable, though, those queens. You'd be surprised. Uh, this one was easy. Just poke the holes full, pull it down, but the hard part was trucking it up that hill. Uh, you can't tell. This camera does it no justice, but that's down and down down all right guys well look that's it i'm gonna go into the house i gotta find a place to put these starting to run out of space um as far as where i want to keep them on my property and it's just not a good day to start opening them up and figuring things out need to get them settled in that location i'll let that other one only forge uh for a day i might even get to them tomorrow evening if not monday evening for sure they've got to be opened up and i gotta rectify what i did to them uh the bees are pretty forgiving of our stupidity, but there's sometimes we can push it too far. Folks, I do appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget if you like the video, give it a thumbs up if you don't mind. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It doesn't cost you anything. And look, share this video with your friends, family, anybody that just enjoys watching bees. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon. God bless you. See y'all later.